All right, this is Tom Rattoni Nagy. Uh, came to this country in 1956 after the revolution and knows a lot about Hungarian everything. Tom, you were telling me about the, the different Hungarian porks and bacon and that. Tell me about that. Well, the uh, sort of a unique uh, to Hungary uh, is the Mongolitsa uh, pork which has a different flavor, it has a flavor all its own. And uh, it's right now starting to become popular all over the world uh, from what I understand. And it, it just has a unique flavor. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but if you taste it next to the other kind of pork, you will taste the difference. And is this because they feed the pigs differently? That's part of the reason. Uh, the Hungarian uh, pork farming is done uh, ma mainly with moshlek, is what they call. It's sort of uh, anything that's left over food to uh, fruits that are picked up in the, after they fall off the tree in the yard to whatever you can find that's uh, left over. You kind of make a uh, mixture of it and you serve it in a trough and that's what uh, the pigs eat. Well they also feed them corn and things like that but uh, uh, that moshlik is what they call that. Uh, that that's sort of the, the leftover uh, so that we don't waste anything. The pigs eat it and I, I think uh, any, any uh, Hungarian farm household has that for any type of thing, including the Mongolitsa. It's not, not just unique to them. Uh, it's just that we don't like to waste food and that, that's how we use it up. And it comes out as a, um, uh, my grandmother uh, raised a couple of pigs from a little piglet to uh, and around Christmas time, we had a, a tour, which is uh, when your family gets together and, and you uh, call out the local uh, person that kills the pig, and you drain the blood into a, some kind of a container that's for the blood sausage. Okay, and you have. Uh, this uh, machine that you crank and what it does is you put uh, hay in there or straw and it burns the hair off the, the pig you know you go all over it and it, it gets rid of all the hair basically and uh, the treat for a little kid which I was at the time when I was about eight years old was uh, uh, the uh, tail of the pig uh, gets to be kind of fried at this time with that uh, uh, machine that, that they burn the hair off of the pig with. And then the, they cut up the pig and they, uh, they have the whole house in every corner somebody's doing some particular part of that pig. Whether it's washing out the uh, the intestines for the kielbasa or kolbas in Hungarian it's kolbas yeah and uh, you wash out the stomach which they take all the inner parts like the heart and uh, different internal organs and they cook that and make like a gelatin type uh, soup out of it and you put it back into the pig's stomach and then you hang it into the smokehouse, and that's called a head cheese. Now it looks or sounds gruesome, but it is. You, you could go to Dohar uh, meat stand at the West Side Market, you can buy it. Okay, it's not, uh, I don't think they use the stomach of the pig, but they, uh, they have a uh, version of that. And they have the hot one and the mild one, you know. <laughs> it sounds gross, but. It, believe me, it tastes good. Okay, and uh, other parts of the pig, when they render lard, 
uh, the rendering takes place by uh, taking the uh, fat, pork fat, and cooking it in, the, in its own juices the, as it cooks. It lets the lard out and uh, you have this thing called a tupper you left over at the end. And uh, you put a little salt on there and it's like popcorn. Uh, we eat, uh, it, it's, it really doesn't have that much fat left in it because all the fat comes out in the lard. But the, uh, the part that's left over is really good stuff. And uh, usually when we cook, and uh, even down in the kitchen here, uh, John Medjimori usually does a part where uh, he cuts the fat off the, even chicken you can do that with, and, and he makes it on the stove, and we all go to town uh, with a little piece of bread and eating the, the different uh, parts of the, I mean, the, the tuberture is what we call it. That's, pork fat minus the fat, uh, or most of the fat anyway. It's still greasy, but it's lovely. Sounds good. <laughs> it's tremendous food. Uh,